What's going on gamers, your boy iMaverick back with more Madden 13 news and more specifically connected careers information. I dropped a video, uh, you know, not too long ago on the connected careers and I did my best explaining everything, but a lot of you guys had questions that I just couldn't answer because they went into detail but not enough in some different areas. So, I got word of some more information. It's basically just a connected careers q and A. I'm a roll that clip and I think that's gonna, I mean, I had a list of questions that I took from you guys that I even had myself and I was doing my best to try and get these answered but after watching this video I would say about 85% of them are answered and they're gonna be doing something later on in E3 that'll hopefully you know answer the rest of those questions but I'm gonna roll the clip guys let me know what you think in the comment section if you have any questions that weren't answered please leave those in the comments I'm not I'm not getting a chance to reply to all of them but I'm taking notes and I'm trying to get them answered for you guys so watch it and let me know what you think. Um, the first question we have is, the guys want to know what does it mean to be a coach now and do you actually get to play the game? So if you look at playing from the perspective of a coach, it's the same thing you've always had in offline franchise. So you're going to control the offense, the defense on the field, special teams, all that stuff. You're going to trade, you're going to draft, you're going to sign players. You're going to do everything you've ever had. So you're in complete control of the team as a coach. Nice. So with the coaching stuff, there have been, you know, we announced that as a coach now, you can get fired on your job, which is authentic to the NFL, and that's why we have it there. But there are some guys who, there's a guy at Operation Sports who's a real loyal Chiefs fan. All he wants to do is coach the Chiefs, so he wants to know, does he have an option to turn that off? Yeah, you definitely do. Whenever you create the league or the commissioner creates the league, you have an option to turn off being fired as a coach. So if you wanted to, you could coach for 30 years as the Chiefs head coach, never get fired. Uh, you'll be able to still meet your goals and all that kind of stuff. But uh, we do give you the flexibility to turn that off. Nice. That's a, that's a good option there. So the guys also want to know, so when you are playing as a player, what exactly do you have control over? And do you control the play calling and the player? So when you're a player, um, we actually spent a lot of time working on this, trying to figure out what the most fun aspect was of being a player. Um, if you control a player, you only control yourself. You do not control anybody else on offense. You don't control anybody on defense. Let's say you're a quarterback. Um, you do call plays and you can make adjustments like hot route and that kind of stuff. Uh, we wanted to make sure that uh, we gave you full control to play the game how you wanted to play it. So it's all up to you. Nice. So guys want to know also, so obviously we announced that we do have legends uh, in connected careers, but they want to know, so when you're in a league and you have multiple owners who want to use the legends, what are your options there? So the commissioner can uh, turn a setting on or off for legends at the beginning of the uh, league that's being created. I think the default is actually off right now. I don't know how we'll end up doing it when we ship, but um, the commissioner can determine to turn that off and if he does that means that anyone else that he invites the league or joins the league cannot join as a legend so you can completely block that out if you turn it on then people can join as a legend if they want to and again i don't want anybody thinking that the legends are these souped up 99 overall players i think the most they're they're going to be is maybe an 85 overall the coaches will start off as rookie legends so rookie versions of themselves they won't be completely souped up with everything unlocked that kind of stuff so it's not like they'll break the game but if you want to make sure that realism is taken care of then your commissioner can turn that off yeah and realism is a big important factor but another one as you said is a fun factor um, so guys here do want to know are you able to switch from a player to a coach to a team throughout your career and the same user had a follow-up question around is there a scouting combine so you can definitely change from player to coach, back to player, all kinds of different positions, as many times as you want. Doesn't do anything at all. I've, had, I've seen a lot of questions this morning about people asking if they take Tim Tebow and then they retire Tim Tebow, is he gone from the league? That's not the case. So if you control Tim Tebow for a year and then you turn around and you retire Tim Tebow, you just basically quit him. He goes back in the league, he's CPU controlled, everything's fine. Um, if you take a created player a couple years and you retire a created player, then that guy is permanently retired from the league. Good. Good detail there for the guys. Oh, by the way. Oh, yeah. By the way, there is a scouting combine. It's not a big, you know, in-game event, that kind of thing. It's just another aspect of the scouting part um, where you go into a screen and unlock information about people. But it does happen at the real time the scouting combine happens. Nice. So with the next question we had here is guys want to know, uh, this came from a specific user on Twitter, but he plays a lot of his brother. He wants to know, can I run a connected career with my brother if we both play on the same console? So this year on the same console, you can only play one person per league. Um, that's probably something we'll look at in the future, but again, it was something we wanted to do right. It requires a lot of changes to interface and that kind of stuff, so um, right now it's just one person per league. 
Okay, thanks, Josh. Uh, so the next one is, they want to know what happens when someone in your league doesn't want to play anymore. You know, there are a lot of guys who will start a franchise, drop out, and the guys don't want their franchise to die. So what have we done for that? So online dynasty, online franchise, we kind of have the same uh, sort of control. The commissioner can go into the screen that shows all the users in the league at any time and boot anybody he wants. Nice. So guys also want to know, is Connected Careers going to be an online type deal where you can compete against your friends or strictly offline? And guys that are listening to this, this is kind of a, you know, we have different fans here, different directions. I believe this one came from Facebook. So want to take it? Yeah, just very clearly, um, Connected Careers is online and offline. If you can uh, choose to play an offline career by yourself, you're certainly welcome to. You can have as many of those as you want. Uh, if you want to play an online career with your buddies, you certainly can. If you want to play an online career by yourself and take advantage of the sort of the online experience, you certainly can do that too. So we're kind of leaving the control up to you, whatever you want to do. Nice. So we do have guys that are very interested in the coaching stuff, and they want to know, can you just give them like one example of a weekly and a seasonal goal that a coach might have in connected careers? Sure. Uh, coach goals are almost all predicated around the team. So if you're talking about a weekly goal, it's like, have 600 yards of total offense or score three rushing touchdowns, that kind of thing. Uh, milestone goals would be something like win the Super Bowl or um, have 75 players while you're the head coach go to the Pro Bowl, um, that kind of thing. Season goals would be based around wins typically. So um, you'll have a minimum amount of wins that you have to reach not to get fired. That's obviously if you have that setting turned on. Um, and also you'll have to be able to reach different levels of season goals. So if you win the Super Bowl, you may get a ton of XP because of that. I've seen a couple people online, I wanted to address this real quick, asking about you know guys piling up stats and getting tons of XP by just you know throwing for 900 yards in a game. Weekly goals are one level. So if, if you have a weekly goal of throwing for 300 yards, you get 100 XP because of that, you're only gonna get that. You're not going to get a ton more XP because you did three times more than that. So uh, I, want to, I want people to understand that we're trying to be very careful with XP. We're trying to make sure that we don't overdo it, that there's no way to sort of game the system. Um, even the milestone goals for like rushing for 2,000 200, 200, yards in a season, sorry. Um, that goes more towards your legacy and it gives you XP, but we're going to be careful to not give you too much so that people are always trying to like run up the score in games and get tons of stats. Nice. Uh, the next one here is, guys, this is a short one here. They just want to know, can a group of people play as their own created guys within the Connected Careers, or as they were calling it, online franchise? Yeah, I mean, w one of the things that I didn't touch on uh, a lot, which is really cool, is the commissioner has the ability to determine um, who's in his league. So he can, he can say that he wants a mix of coaches and players. He can say that he only wants players. He can say that he only wants quarterbacks or only corners. So... You can play with as many created players with your buddies in the league. So you can create your own guy. Your buddy can create his own guy. It's a quarterback. You can create a wide receiver. Another guy can create a running back. You can all play as created players or coaches in the league if you want. Good. So this one here, we have a lot of guys, again, with the confusion, uh, wanting to know big offline, online guys. They want to know what it, that is in currently in Madden NFL 12, online and offline franchise, is in connected careers. So they give examples here, such as your ratings, regression with age, player confidence, consistencies, things like that. If you could just touch on it quickly. Yeah, I mean, we, we definitely made sure we handled all that stuff. So as players get older, they definitely regress. Um, they regress if they don't meet season goals, CPU players do. Um, so sort of, you know, it's kind of the, the anti-progression. Um, we've got confidence, we've got consistency, all the players have traits. Everything that we had last year in that regard, we've got it all covered this year. Great, and this one's another short one. The guy wants to know, are you able to control multiple teams on one profile? Uh, currently, you can only control one team on one profile. Okay. And they want to know, how many connected careers can you have at once? So the example you gave is, can I have an online league where I coach with 31 other users and then also still be able to do one where I'm a player? Yeah, we're still trying to work on the amount of uh, sort of limited um, uh, careers that you can be as a commissioner um, and as the ones, you know, trying to figure out if we're going to have any limits of the ones you can join. Right now, we don't have any limits. It really is just based on how much we can handle on the server. Um, if you know, we've actually tried to encourage, like if you want to be a coach online with your friends, if you want to be in a league online with three other people and you're all quarterbacks trying to like compare yourselves against each other, you're certainly welcome to. If you want to play offline, you can. We're not limiting right now the amount of leagues that you can play in. Um, we may have to like limit it to 10 or something like that, but trust me, you're going to have plenty of leagues you can be in.
Good. So this is something here that I personally was a big fan of when you first told me and, and guys are asking about it. I don't think we touched on the webcast yesterday, but it's can you expand on the draft portion of Connected Careers and our future draft picks in? Future draft picks are definitely in. This year's draft picks. Another thing that I didn't talk about a lot on the webcast, we have the real draft picks. I know that's something that people have asked for for a long time. If in real life this upcoming year the Eagles have three first round picks or the Raiders don't have a pick till the seventh round, that will be reflected in Connected Careers. So when you start the game, the real draft picks will be there that's that's great definitely and you know something else that's big for guys who are in franchises and now will be in connected careers is autopilot so guys want to know is there an autopilot setting there is autopilot so the commissioner or yourself can go into the user screen that shows all the users in the league. You can set yourself to autopilot. What that means at that point is if you're going out of town for vacation for a week or whatever is going on, um, at that point, your opponent for that week can play uh, your team controlled by the CPU. So you can come back, turn autopilot off, and go right back to playing. Nice. So next one is, you know, we talk about having coaches and we've talked about, you know, you might have a guy that's like a hot shot coach from college pop in like a Jim Harbaugh last year. And so guys want to know, do those coaches have ratings and, and does it actually matter? Is it more of like a name type of thing? So one of the things we looked at with uh, offline franchise when we started talking about how we were going to rate coaches was, um, is it really necessary to give a coach a rating of zero to 100? Um, we started to take a look at that and and uh, our initial reaction was no, it's not. So let's let's break coaches into groups. So we, we broke them into four levels. Level one is your, your entry level coach, um, kind of new to the league, hasn't done a whole lot. Level four is your guys like Tom Coughlin, guys who've been around for a long time. Um, you know, won Super Bowls, that kind of thing. So as you're created coach, as you progress throughout your career, you'll go from being a level one to a two to three to a four. So um, we're trying to not use the zero to 100 rating scale we do for players just because we felt like there wasn't enough to kind of differentiate coaches. Nice, and, and so we have the coaches bar taken care of. Uh, another question here is if you're if you join a 32 human, uh, you know, controlled league, and each has their own team, but a guy quits and but and decides he wants to be a player instead. Really, how does that work? So the easiest way to sort of handle that, if you're coaching the Chiefs and you decide to quit and come back as a player, you can come back as a player on the Chiefs, but you're not going to be able to on any other team. So um, you probably have a little more flexibility if you're in a league with like 10 teams and you can come back and choose another team. But um, for this year, we're trying to limit it to make sure that there's only one human user per team. All right, Josh, and the next question we have here is the guys want to know, can you explain team-specific ratings a bit more? Yeah, it's a huge part of the game. We wanted to make sure that every single team felt realistic that now you have three, four outside linebackers versus three, four defensive ends, um, you know, versus normal outside linebackers. So every team prefers their types of players, whether they're the Saints and they like small receiving backs that are really quick and fast, or a team that likes, uh, like the 49ers, they like a guy who can carry the ball 20 to 30 times. So um, every team has different types of players they like and what what that actually does is it changes their overall ratings for that team it doesn't change any real rating so it doesn't change speed or awareness or anything like that what it does is it takes certain ratings into account and prefers those so that the team goes into the draft or free agency or trades or anything like that looking for guys that will fit better for them on the field nice and, and playing in with that you know is the guys want to know will cpu teams target players to fit their specific schemes as well so meaning will cpu and team target a defensive end that could fit into their 3 4 d they As will, yeah. I mean, so, so think of it in this example. If they go into the draft, if there's two defensive ends available and one's like a small speed rusher guy like Dwight Freeney and they like a 3-4 defensive end, they may think the Dwight Freeney guy is 10 points lower in overall than the other guy is. So naturally, when they're going through the process, they're going to draft the guy that really fits their scheme just because they know he has a higher overall. Great. All righty. So... I feel like he answered a whole lot of questions right there. Um, one thing I wanted to touch on that I feel like he really didn't answer, but he kind of did, and it was a question I had and I saw a few of you guys in the comment section had, is that how is the player versus coach interaction? So let's say you're coaching and I'm actually a player. Maybe I'm a quarterback. And when our teams play, how does that work? So what it, what it seems like is that, you know, I'm going to control my offense as usual, and you'll be calling the plays on defense as I'm controlling just my player. Now, when it comes to the defensive side of the ball, obviously I can't just sim that part because you got to do your thing as a coach. So I'll be able to control the defense as a whole. I can call plays. I can do pre-snap hot routes and everything. But when that ball snapped, I'm not going to control anybody. 
that's what I've get you know that's what I've gathered from listening to him and doing some of my own research let me know in the comment section though do you agree do you disagree and if you have anything to add to this mode that maybe wasn't answered by me or anything in the video leave that so other people can see it there's a lot of questions going on if you have answers please respond in the comment section so that you know you might answer someone else's question so they can see it but uh yeah guys check out all the other Madden 13 and NCAA 13 news I've dropped it's been a lot E3 is going strong and uh, any other questions you have, leave those in the comment section. I'm going to do my best to get them answered for you guys. Till next time, God first, God bless.